so full, view full report. Yes, we'll get we'll get five out of thirty. So Coles compared to the rest of the competition versus PE ratio, price versus earnings. So price versus earnings ratio. Costco, you can't beat with Costco. Costco hot hot dog is goated. See this shit warm is fucking rough. Walmart. The thing is, like in my opinion, so Coles. Let's have a look at Coles. And maybe like pray for their downfall. I don't know. So Coles. So we look. Um, we've looked at that. We're curious down revenue. This makes more and more every year. That's expected. Inflation, etc. Earnings is like just sits at basically nine hundred ninety nine point eight million, one billion. It, it scrapes the floor because obviously like revenue. I'm getting a bit dry lips here. Um, um revenues like. Like, like everybody that goes at the gro groceries and buys something for 10 bucks, like Coles is only making a dollar or two dollars out of that or whatever. So obviously the revenue is going to be insane. We can sort of see here actually. So one thing that's very important is free cash flow. From what I've heard from many people that have talked about looking for stocks, free cash flow, free cash flow, free cash flow. Things you can do with free cash flow affect the perm the like um the things that you can do with free cash flow affect the tra trajectory of the company long term um 1.3 billion as opposed to earnings so it's more than earnings so that's a plus i'll well, screw it earnings per share growth actual so trending well bad year they're not really looking for the highlight really because we're going to flick over to Woolworths after this. Revenue breakdown, we're going to have a little look at that. Pause that potentially. Cost of sales costs a lot. So, you know what I mean? Like cost of sales. So, like um, wages. That's why they're deleting Sally from the checkout and putting in a self serve. Revenue history, earnings revenue history. Like, honestly, I don't even think this is fucking actually like 40 billion. 40 billion, 40 billion, 38 billion. I don't, this isn't keeping up with inflation. There's no way because this is measured in Australian dollar. And I'll tell you what's happening with the Australian dollar. Something that you probably already know is that it's fucking, it's becoming worthless. Like all fiat currencies is becoming worthless. One more ice block would be all right. It's becoming worthless. So this isn't keeping up with inflation because what's Australian inflation? I just watched the American markets basically so much. So what's Australian inflation? Not keeping up with that. So, eh. And you know, if coals were to increase their prices so much to keep up with inflation, which I thought they were, I thought they were, but revenue over six months, one year, whole year, which is basically only gone up less than a billion, 39.7 to 40.5, less than a billion dollars, which like obviously is a lot of money, but it, we're talking percentages here, right? So that's like fucking, what is it? Five, five percent, two, 2.5%. Like inflation has been more than 2.5%. So the revenue, in my opinion, or even their earnings, which is not that either, needs to at least keep up with inflation, something that I'm missing perhaps. Return on equity, Coles Group consumer retailing, Coles is above on return on equity, consider, return on equity considered high, return on assets, Coles Group consumer retailing. So these metrics, Coles looks good, but if we go back to the start, they ain't got shit on um, American Walmart or Costco because you know, Costco's got that hot dog. <laughs> Coles ain't got no hot dog. All Coles has got is that fucking peanut almond section with a couple of lollies in it where you flick the lid open and grab a handful and put it in your mouth. That's all it's got. And that cannot compete with a $2 hot dog. $2.50, I think it is. Maybe $3. If you look at the balance sheet, physical assets, other liabilities, inventory, all that sort of shit, and you see a corner of debt, that is considered very bullish. Coles has been around for so fucking long that like you'd probably expect them to have a low debt. I believe Coles is, Coles is, no, Coles is Australian. I was going to say Coles is South South African, but I think it's Woolworth is South African and Coles is Australian. Well, it's sort of like if oh, you buy a house and you've had a house for 40 years, you expect the debt to be low unless they're taking new debt. But why would Coles need to take new debt? They're basically putting every fucking person out of, all right. 
cruise down management ceo ceo makes 3.3 .3 million a year where was dividend dividend yield growth payments dividend so dividend makes 4.2 percent not too bad not too bad 4.2 percent that's like four percent is the minimum that i want to see four percent industry average yield 3.5 see that's why people don't invest in this shit. 4.2 percent it's like sort of like the minimum that you want to see move down see they're holding a bit 60 68 percent cash payouts shareholders they're holding on ceo gets a bit we want to see insider shares so who's this scott price who's an individual he is a member of the board um he bought three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars worth of coals in 20 on the 24th of august the ownership breakdown is that it's 70 percent general public and blackrock and state street state street and vanguard the people that fucking print and own the money and money just basically is what it is uh is what it isn't is what it isn't so money is what they decide it to be um that's pretty much people that only have very 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 small allocations very tinny 0.01 percent like you'd be like a regular joe would say why bother you know what i mean 0 0.01 so you've got like um so you've got 100 grand one percent what's one percent of 100 grand one grand what's 0.1 percent 100 bucks what's 0.01 percent 10 bucks yeah so it's just like I don't know, obviously they've got like 10 trillion dollars so 0.01 percent is probably a couple like 100 million but you know what i mean it's just like ugh. anyways that's pretty much it number of employees you want to see this trending up 818k 120k 120k it's not trending up we're gonna have a look at woolworths and then we'll fuck off actually we need to look at these at the chart I knew this would fucking take ages. Revenue, basically the same. Gross profit, I think that was higher. Woolworths. Yep, same shit. More than Coles. We'll zip through this. Current price, fair value. Yeah, not great to see. Future earnings and growth. Revenue, more money. Earnings, a little bit more. They make more money than Coles does. A lot of X's, earnings per share. <laughs> See, we've been on this for a while. So, screenshot that, have a look. Other 102 million. New Zealand food, big W. Hand in a lot of pies. Hand in a lot of pies. Bruce down, financial health, assets, liabilities. Here we go. Cash and equivalents. Nah, we missed the... um. Free cash flow be the same sort of shit. Oh, oh, trending up one billion, two billion, two point. I'm almost about to pick. Look at this. Look at the see, see how stagnant Coles was, and then see how uptrending Woolworth is in all aspects. Not only is it making revenue 50 billion, revenue like 15 percent more, you know, so that's like 30, that's like 30 percent or 20 something percent. Plus free cash flows going up. I'm liking this already. Let's have a little look at the dividend. Same sort of shit going on here. A little square corner of debt. Growth of payments. You can pause anything that you like. Management CEO gets paid twice as much. Buys and sells. Few buys, few sells. Six to nine months ago. And then a big um, $64 million worth from Vanguard. They sold eight million for whatever reason at this price, and they rebought. They rebought. Holy shit! Vanguard's in heavily, sixty-nine mil. Just general public institution, same two percent less number of employees. Ugh, down, gone down a bit through COVID. Twenty two hundred fifteen k. They were hit by COVID hard. Load at one hundred ninety seven, two hundred k. So maybe they're trending up. Maybe they're rehiring. Where's the dividend? Is there no dividend? Dividend. Oh no, I missed it. Dividend market. Is there no dividend? 
He's there no dividend. He's there no dividend. Oh no, there's a dividend. It's right in front of me. 2.6%. Oh, so you got like Coles that looks worse with a higher dividend, and then you've got Woolworths that looks better with a fucking dog shit 2.8% dividend. It's sort of like one cancels out the other deal. <sighs> Shit, man. I don't really want to hold something. Analyst forecast is to go higher three point or something, but two point like it's... All right, anyways, let's have a look at the fucking charts and then this might, this might answer. Coles ASX. <laughs> Coles AXS, look at that shit. I'm not fucking touching that shit at all. Look at that. Look at the range, like we talked about previously. This is, a, this is distribution. Holy fuck. Wow. So it's been in this range for three years, basically. Um, an entry here is betting that it's going to continue range. But, um, or so something like that, exactly like that. So this is like not a bad entry. Like it's a good entry if you can see that. But otherwise, it's going down to here, 11 bucks. So if you're entering here, you enter with like 50% or less, like 40% maybe. And then either if you like if if it goes up, your forty percent is good, makes money. And if it goes down, then you enter with more. Wow. Things are happening on the fucking stock market. Is this the same? Oh, this is a bit more fucking. This is a bit more volatile. Same sort of range, but it looks way stronger. Way stronger. It's not at the bottom. It's not at the bottom of the range either. Woolworths, so we said that, and like it's above 200, it's just basically been in a non-stop uptrend. I want to buy this more, and I want to buy it in the bottom side of this range. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set an alert for Woolworths. The next low. Bang. I want to see when it, when it goes down to this area and then I'll enter with like 40% basically, but Coles, maybe Coles, yeah, see, so, but at the same time, it's just like, yeah, I'm going to have to sleep on this, you know, because obviously we've been looking at it for about 20 minutes and you can't make a good decision in 20 minutes. So I'm going to think about these, but I've set an alert and um, the Coles one I'll be thinking about first because it's at the buy area. It's at the buy area and coals ain't going nowhere. And um, even if there is like a recession and some severe problems, coals is going to increase the security and probably make more money continually. So I like coals. I like coals, um, but you know, not for much, not for much. A couple grand, just chill. Just as chill, just as like a, a quiet one, a chill one. Just a little one because you're not going to make a heap off the dividend either. You know what I mean? 4% better on the coals. Woolworths, shit. For Woolworths, you want a good entry for it to make any money because. Woolworths is 2%, that's fucking dog shit. So you want to be buying around here. Otherwise, it's not worth it at all. Otherwise, it's not worth it at all. Anyways, peace and love. That's fucking probably the longest stream yet. We'll finish this. Fuck. <sighs> if you've hung around this long, if you've hung around this long, you deserve to see that. I oh, basically inhaled that. Fuck yeah. Fucking breathed in. At the same time I swallowed. Woo! <coughs> what a rush. Cheers. Peace and love.